Hi, this is Ria from FTC Team Uplift Robotics. And today I'm going to show you how to loop in code.org. So this is the first activity and um, it's just getting started with looping. So what I have here is the loop block. And in the loop block, we're going to call the move forward block and the turn left block. Um, so in the loop uh, block, we write how many times we want to loop whatever is inside. So um, I wrote 50 times. And then um, inside the block, we have move forward 100 units and then turn left 137 degrees. So we're going to loop what's in here 50 times and now we're going to see what it does so as you can see it's looping this and once it reaches 50 times it will stop and then you get this image So for the next activity, um, it's a little, it's the same concept, just a little different. So we have a loop block right here, and we called the block draw square, and then we called the block turn right. So it will draw a square, and then it will turn right, and then we called, this is just the function of draw square, so this is the square. Um, and so we called the draw square and turn right a hundred times, and this is what it looks like. So as you can see, um, once it goes here, it calls this entire code because this is the code for the square. And then it will loop the turn right. So it draws a square, turns right 10 degrees, and then draws another square. And it continues on a hundred times. So that's what it looks like. Um, the next activity is the last activity. Um, and in this activity, what we do is we loop um, random colors showing up on the screen. So, so what we have here is um, a loop for a thousand times, 10,000 times. So we have a pen sent, set at a random color and then we move it randomly. And um, we have different sizes for um, the dot size. So we call the pen up here and then over here we set the color, we set where it goes to and then we set the size of the dot. Um, so it chooses a random color, it um, draws a dot, then it will move wherever it wants to, it'll draw another dot, and then um, it can change the dot size randomly. So once we are finished coding that, we click run, and then that's what it looks like. It just fills up the screen with random dots um, in different places. And this code right here, is for after it's done looping this 10,000 times, it will um, do the same thing but with all white dots. So it erases whatever we have. So as you can see, it fills it up with colors first. And then after it's done looping, it will fill it up with white dots. So it looks like it's gone. And that's it.